Hey you guys, I've got a fun project I'm working on today and it's something that I've been wanting to do for a while. It's a really great distraction and it's gonna fill up my day, so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm up to. So for those of you who have been with us for a while, you have seen kind of the transformation of our bedrooms and making more room for kids who are in foster care. So originally what that looked like was this room back here was Darcy and Sawyer's. We then had this bedroom here, which was the uh, foster room. And then this was an open loft. This wall was not here and we used it as a play area. But after a while, what we decided is we really wanted to take in siblings and have more space to take in kids and keep siblings together. So what we did is we built out the loft, uh, we enclosed it and made it a third kid's bedroom. And right now that is looking like this. Um, again, this is kind of a room I don't want to touch yet. We switched some things around while my sister's family was with us, so the full bed was actually downstairs and we're still working on getting it back up here. But yeah, so this room is still going to remain empty and be the foster room. Everybody loves to see Crosley in the videos. So what I've recently decided to do, um, especially with not knowing what's gonna come for our family and with fostering, we're gonna go ahead and give Darcy her own room and Sawyer his own room, um, just because in this next year, again, not knowing what to expect, um, we kind of feel like it's starting to get age appropriate for them to have their own uh, bedroom. And in Darcy's room, we're still gonna have space for another child if it comes to that. And also in Sawyer's room, we would still have uh, space for another child as well. This bed underneath um, technically right now as it is is not allowed to have a child in foster care uh, stay on it because it's on wheels and it's not a permanent bed but we would just take those off or have Darcy sleep on the rolling bed and have another child um, up here but I did take down um, Sawyer's name sign, took down his baby picture that was up here. We still have a lot of empty space. This whole closet is actually empty right now. We have a whole empty um, few drawers on the bed. So still a lot of space in Darcy's room. Like I mentioned before, this is gonna remain open. It's still gonna have the bunk beds and really what we're using it um, for right now is just a guest bedroom. We um, do have visitors who come and visit us right now and so um, it's nice to have a space for them. But the big project today is Sawyer's room. So we are gonna switch out the decor since this is his first room on his own, uh, we're gonna take down the red and the black and we're gonna go ahead and give him his Dino Sawyer room. It's something that I kind of missed out on when he was born, not having a cute little nursery with dinosaurs everywhere. So this is as much for me as it is for him. We got a couple of things at garage sales. Um, this was pretty cheap at Target for $15, and then I got these um, peel and stick decals and a crib sheet. Uh, we're going to put his name up here, and then of course have a whole, <laughs> whole bunch of dinosaurs. Obviously, some of the most famous dinosaurs we have, Yoshi and uh, I think it's Rex from Toy Story. So first I'm gonna start with taking down all the other decor. And people are always asking, how do you prepare your home for you know kids who are in foster care that you're taking in? And honestly, um, I'll probably have a separate video <laughs> just about this, but um, in short, I would say, even though we have prepared in the past, um, I think the best thing to do is just save your money and make sure you are buying things specific to the kid. Because once you get a kid who comes to you, especially if they're older, they're gonna have their preferences and you know specific sizes and styles and so it makes more sense to save your money buy individually for each kid so that it's a personal experience but one thing i would stock up on are these command strips these have been a lifesaver in switching out every bedroom um, with the decor that you know, we've bought at garage sales or that we've, you know, just kind of had on hand. And so I'm gonna show you how these have been a lifesaver because we've switched this room. This is now the third time <laughs> that it has gotten a makeover and there are very few holes in the wall um, specifically because of these. So take these, for example, you just pop them off. They have the command strip that you can either take off or you can try to match it up with the new wall decor. And then you just leave those on so you don't have to put brand new ones on each time. This red lantern is gonna go. Take this sign. Oh wow, that one just popped right off anyway. 
This is a big one. And this whole set we got at a garage sale. Let's see if I break another nail. This whole set we got at a garage sale. I think it had the comforter and all the decor and I might have paid $20 for it. Go ahead and take this one down as well, leave that hook up. And this will all be set aside in the basement just in case for future um, we need to use it again. Everything stacks up nicely. I am gonna go ahead and keep up this Don't Wake the Dreamer because I think that it still kind of matches. And there are a couple of little pinholes that happened uh, this last time and I'm going to paint that um, but also that's going to stay as well and one thing that is going to happen that I don't know if I'm ready for is Sawyer's going to get out of his crib it's time for him to get into the toddler bed and I've listed the crib for sale on Facebook Marketplace because usually what we'll end up doing is, you know, anything that we uh, sell kind of on the side, we put in a jar and it goes to our vacation fund um, so that we can have like fun money to spend on vacations. But this actually hasn't sold, so I might either lower the price or I might reach out to our agency and see if there are any um, foster families um, who are local who uh, are looking for a new crib to upgrade theirs, or maybe it's a new foster family that is open to taking in infants and needs one. And this is also a convertible one, so you know it could be used for multiple purposes. And we are gonna keep this twin bed in here again, um, just as a you know sleepover option. <laughs> um, if one of our previous kids comes and visits us, they would have another place to stay. Miss A likes to stay in this room. Even though the other room is a little bit bigger, it's a bigger bed, it's got the TV, uh, she likes to stay in this room. So we're gonna leave this here again, fingers crossed, um, as long as we can work some things out and we are able to continue to foster, we would still have one, two, three, technically four beds available, but we would probably only want to fill maybe two of them. Sleep in the crib anymore! Is that crazy? Okay, so this was supposed to be a surprise, but I didn't finish it in time. So Sawyer is exploring. Um, I changed my mind. I took more stuff off the wall um, and Whoa! rearranged, this is so which is why it took so long. Taking apart the crib is going to be fun. Oh, Mommy, I'll what? go get some books for Sawyer. That's a great idea. Thank you. Well, it's time to go to bed. Bed. <sighs> what are you two doing? Darcy and I have had a really productive morning. Today is the day that we are going to Great Wolf Lodge as a family. The park is available to us at one o'clock. We went ahead and we dropped off Sawyer at daycare. Darcy's been staying with me. Darcy's been staying with me this week um, for a few reasons. One, we have our trip to Great Wolf Lodge and also her and I are about to drive 11 and a half hours to the upper peninsula of Michigan for a wedding. Whoa! Whoa is right. John is gonna stay here with Sawyer because Sawyer really can't handle um, that long of a drive and flying just really wasn't an option for us at this point. But we got our car all set. We got fresh oil, fresh filter, fresh fluids, tire pressure is good to go. Darcy's yep. rocking her ears for today for Great Wall. Oh! We ran to Walmart to grab a few things. And I have to say, Walmart clearance is where we clean up. Now, I don't have the best luck with Walmart shoes, but when you get them for four and five dollars, um, these are ones that Darcy picked out. These are five dollars, and they're fun, they're JoJo. Sawyer's about to be in a new size, so these were four dollars. So these are a size four, so not gonna fit Darcy anytime soon. So we would either keep them for her, or um, again, for $5, um, if we have a kid placed with us who you know, is about that size, that would be good to have on hand. And then again, $4 pair of shoes for Sawyer. We don't take placement calls for kids who are uh, super young, so that's why we try to get the older sizes. And then Darcy picked out some stuff with her money. What'd you get? Um, I got Fire Spirit and Lola. She absolutely loves Space Jam. We love Space Jam. We watched both movies and- We then... watched the new one and the first one. Yeah, with who? Michael Jordan and then who's the other guy? Bugs Bunny. LeBron? Bon Dame. I heard like mixed reviews, but when we watched it, John Step and I- to the Space Jam! John and I were just like, 
laughing the whole time. Don Cheadle was like freaking incredible. Dobby the duck was so funny. I went ahead and I got a new Walmart set of this um, dinnerware and Honestly, ours has just been kind of starting to break and uh, we're missing pieces. Our cup situation is a bit out of control, so we are going to take a look and see. Um, I think some of these we can get rid of, like Sawyer probably doesn't need those small ones anymore. This one is not even ours, uh, so give that back to Nana. We really like, um, this is something that we did when we had kids in care, when we had um, a sibling set of three. We bought at Party City, they have $1 cups and we got two for each kid that were a specific uh, design that they like. And that way we could really um, keep track of whose cup was whose. But now we have all of these cups that we don't really need. So um, we might keep these on hand for when my sister's family visits. This one's a new one. Darcy loves her descendants, my goodness. Yep. So I'm gonna work through that stuff. Um, I'm gonna show you guys Sawyer's room and then we're gonna get packed up and start getting ready. I am looking a hot mess and I have got to get us packed up for Great Wolf Lodge. Um, we're gonna have a separate video that is dedicated to Great Wolf Lodge and the fun that we're gonna have there. We're using John's GoPro. And honestly guys, I know that the interview videos that I post are super long, but you do not want to miss the most recent one with Brittany, who is on TikTok as Foster the Teens. I actually just got my Foster the Teens um, t-shirt in that I ordered, but Brittany, um, she is absolutely incredible and she takes in emergency placements. So she is looking at kids who are gonna be with her for hours, um, up to like a week. She's a single foster parent, so she provides insight into that experience as well and you guys just don't want to miss it so I'm gonna add it in here so you can click and quickly get to that I know you guys have been missing the guinea pigs their little area needs to be cleaned out but they're doing so great just got some carrots to munch on we also have some changes in our dining room so it has been quite a process with our dining room table I absolutely loved the old table um, we had kind of this is our new table I had found the bases and then found a, a top to go with it. We had very little money in it, but the chairs were getting really, really dirty and um, the chairs really didn't match the bases. So finally I broke down and I had seen um, someone on Facebook marketplace that custom builds these tables. So this is an eight foot yep, table. He does. It has a matching bench and got it for $400. And then I found these, these metal uh, white distressed chairs on Amazon, really great deal. Um, this table runner is actually from Target. I have to have my yellow. Love it. And we do have to use um, placemats to make sure that we don't get too many crumbs on the table um, just because you can't wipe it with a paper towel or a um, rag. Uh, we got to get a couple more coats of um, sealant on top. But I thought I'd show you guys this. I absolutely love this room, this area. I love family dinners. So I'll show that off to you guys. Definitely like supporting people who can do something so amazing, like build a table like this. The detail is incredible and shopping locally is super cool. Let's go show them Sawyer's room. Come on, let's go. All right, we'll get some natural light in here. Well, I guess it's pretty good. So this is how it turned out. We moved Sawyer's uh, name over here. This blue doesn't perfectly match, but it has to be in here. So <laughs> um, that is there. Didn't want to mess with repainting it or anything. Here's his bed with dinosaurs. We already had the blanket. We also reused um, a pillow from one of the other rooms that's not being used right now until we find a cute little dinosaur pillow. We have his very first dinosaur stuffed animal that he ever received and then all of his other stuffed animals that he loves. We put this bed together with the navy blue and the light blue. Love these decals from Amazon. We got our famous dinosaurs over here. Yoshi and Rex. The books that Darcy put in here for him. Those bookends came from a garage sale, so don't ask me where I got them because most stuff is from a garage sale. Someone already knows. Same with this. And then I got this at Target. We also have his uh, prints and his little baby picture up there as well.
we have officially made it to Great Wolf Lodge. So this is where we're going to leave you uh, for this video and we will see you next time.